Well, here we are again. Now you're probably thinking bartender. Well, that's a that's a weird thing to do a tutorial on, and you you're right. It is. It's it's pretty simple, and it's pretty much all stuff that I've covered before throughout various other tutorials. But I figured with the rush of new players, it might be a good idea to do a pretty easy job. So this will be short and sweet, probably. Just gonna show the ropes and a little crash course in bartending for the the new ones. So you know, if you've already watched my other tutorials, you probably won't learn anything new in this. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd do a little easy tutorial. I know people have been wanting me to do geneticists and stuff like that. I'm going to be honest, I haven't done genetics since Paradise, since I played on Paradise. I'm pretty sure Paradise's genetics have like changed multiple times since I knew what I was doing there. So I'm going to have to like really learn it before I'm confident doing a tutorial on it. But anyway, I also want to thank people. I've been noticing people have been following my Twitch, which I appreciate you doing and uh yeah i i appreciate it <laughs> what else to say you may have noticed i haven't uh uh been on streaming that's because unfortunately i had to have a uh one of my cats put to sleep this past weekend so i haven't uh really been in the mood to do much of anything but um regardless i appreciate the support through that and as always i'll leave a link down there in the description if you feel like you want to support me in a monetary uh way but i don't expect anyone to do that and of course you know i don't you know not required i'm just throwing it out there my work's been real slow lately, so I can use all the help I can get. <clears throat> anyway, enough of me yammering on about nonsense. First of all, let's get rid of this monkey, because I mean, why would you want a monkey in your workspace? Uh, go ahead and put this top hat on. So, bartending is pretty easy. A lot of it your interactions with people is gonna be like role play which i can't really give you a tutorial on but you know this is like chemistry light basically um if you learn to do bartending easily then you might want to go do chemistry next because it's similar in a lot of ways just a little more complex but here's your little workspace Everything in here can, you know, typically be changed. A lot of bartenders will, like, grab a toolbox and change their bar around however, you know, you want it. Which I might do a tutorial on construction at some point. But first thing you want to do is come out here and choose your, shot, your sign. Which can be uh, all these different things, but we're going to go with Maid Cafe because, I mean... Just look at me. Um, back here's your back room, which has your shotgun, which has bean bean bag slugs in it, which can actually, thankfully, be attached to your suit. Um, you can also go in here and get a box of bean bag slugs, a bandolier, which goes on to your belt slot and then you can grab these and drop them into your bandolier to automatically just put them all in your bandolier um also if you want to be power gaming or if you just like the style you can get an armor vest out of here oh, oh that's i feel like that's new that's new to me and you can reattach your uh shotgun onto the 
vest or whatever. You've got a couple vending machines. Uh, don't think you really need them. Pretty sure everything, every liquid you need is back uh, there. You've got a blender for blending any fruits or veg vegetables that you might need juice out of for certain drinks. And then you've got this little thing full of space beer. I've seen a lot of bartenders just drag this out and open it for people to grab some space beer out of. Then you've got a disco ball which you can uh, activate and then turn on if you, if you, if you want that in your life. But uh, let's see, let's, let's get to actual drink making which you know is the whole like point. So go ahead and you can vend out a few of these if you want. Typically you're not going to make a drink until someone you know orders one and people will order specific things this is where the wiki comes in handy this is definitely a job you want to have the wicca open for wicca really wiki open for uh i'll t try to remember to leave a link for that in the description um but this shit's easy i'll also be putting up like maybe up here up around here or over here the uh, recipes that i'm gonna be showing you I've got five different drink recipes that I'll just sort of go through you with. So let's grab a glass. So the first and most disgusting of drinks we're going to be doing actually requires some milk. So as the bartender you have access to the kitchen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's standard. I don't think that's skeleton crew rules. Pretty sure you can always get in here. But you might want to ask the chef before you uh, grab some... I need to... Uh, you've been seeing a lot of this extra stuff. Sorry about that. I'll turn off my admin stuff. So you want to pick up the space milk. I'm going to go ahead and change the units to 25 by pressing Z with it in your active hand. And you can dump 25 units in there. Awesome. Just going to put this back there. Uh... Now, going to put some beer in here. We're making bilk, which you can probably, oh, this is the wrong machine. Wrong machine, this is your like for, this is your non-alcoholic stuff, which you would think would have milk in it, but it doesn't, it just has cream. Um, so over here is your alcohol. You can, 25, 50 units of bilk, disgusting. But, um, like I said, people are going to be ordering drinks, but feel free to just put a bunch of drinks out. Especially if you're new to this, just make a shit ton of drinks and you'll be appreciated, I'm sure. Um, so, that's as easy as it gets. This next one, however, requires something from chemistry. So... You have to go over to chemistry and ask for some sulfuric acid. Thankfully, hey, someone left out some sulfuric acid right there. So when you go to um, yeah, normally that's not there. I may have spawned that in for myself, <laughs> um, <coughs> but ask the chemist for that if you're. If you don't, if you're feeling antisocial, you can, I guess, request engineering to make you a chem dispenser in your bar. But uh, that's really good luck with that. <laughs> but now that you've got sulfuric acid, we're going to go ahead and make an acid spit, which is also pretty easy, minus the whole sulfuric, a sulfuric acid part. Um, let's see, let's do. So as you can see, each um, each drink is made up of parts, and parts can be whatever uh, like denomination of number that you want. So we need one five parts of wine. So let's go ahead and do put thirty in. So that means we need. I'm not good at math. 
not doing it on the spot anyway. So we got 30 units of wine. Let's uh, make sure that's five. So one, two, three. I think that's too much. So a cool thing, this thing back here is for like bottling alcohol, but it's weird because it's really a condiment maker. I don't really understand. So as you can see, we've got excess uh, sulfuric acid and use this thing and just transfer that, destroy it, and then eject. Then all you're left with is the drink in your glass. So if you ever have excess of something and feel like being fancy and only having the particular drink in your glass, you can do that. So that's all for the acid spit. Pretty simple stuff. Next, we're going to do sort of a two-part drink. So I'm gonna grab this glass and we're going to be doing a screwdriver, which is quite easy. So that's two parts vodka and one part orange juice. So let's go ahead and we will do 10 orange juice for our one part of orange juice and then 20 vodka, which gives us a screwdriver. Now, you could put this out or you could turn it into something more interesting, which is what we're going to do. We're going to change this into a changeling sting and on the screen you're not going to see what the uh, drink really looks like. You'll see that it just looks like a can of soda or whatever. Well, you're, you'll see what it actually ends up looking like. Uh, so for that, we've got one part screwdriver cocktail. So we've got 30 units as one part. So we're probably not going to be able to do this efficiently, as you can see. But if we go and eject, we'll get rid of 10 of this. We'll get rid of 15. Eject, come back, add some more lemon lime. There you go. Now it's mostly a changeling sting. And you'll see that its icon <laughs> changes. Now each of these drinks actually has a unique effect, which you'll see on the wiki. Uh, changeling sting, I believe, refills changeling's uh, chemicals if they drink it. Pretty sure bilk doesn't have uh, any benefits at all. But. Like I said, I'm going to keep this short, so we're only going to do one more drink. We're going to do a drink from the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is quite easy. And it's uh, exactly five parts. So you can do, uh, it's a total of five parts, so you can do ten of each thing. So gin, vodka, whiskey, and cognac. Then you take that put it in here and get some lime juice yeah and galactic gargle blaster some of the all the drinks really like the more advanced ones all have really interesting icons to them so this is only I've shown you how to make <coughs> five different things here there are so many drinks on the wiki which I'm sure you'll see just don't get overwhelmed if you're new to the game just experiment do what you want and most importantly of all make sure you sample all of your drinks before giving them to your customer because that's what a good uh, bartender does just to make sure you know you gotta make sure you're serving up quality stuff you might not want to try the bilk though because uh you know, it's bilk. Kind of disgusting. But if you're ever, like, come across, uh, in, oh my god, so drunk. Drunk enough to even partake in some bilk. If you ever come across a, uh, something you can't find or it doesn't make sense, sometimes, like I said, you've got to go to chemistry and get an ingredient from there so if it's something like iron or plasma or whatever or radium 
that's something you'll have to go down to chemistry and ask them for. If you, for instance, banana juice, you might see that there's no, uh, oh god, I don't even think I can use this now. There's no banana juice in here. And even in here, as you, there is, as well as your dispensers, you've got this, which is full of bottles of different things, as well as just straight up ethanol. But, so if you want to be fancy and mix drinks with bottles, you've got a shaker back here that you can do that with or whatever. And now we're asleep, so I can't really show you anything else. Shouldn't have drank that milk or bilk. But anyway, I believe that's, uh, that should be all, I think. You shouldn't have a rough understanding of bartending now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support and everything. Uh, check me out on Twitch when I'm finally streaming again. Uh, and maybe I'll be keep doing some tutorials for a while maybe some more advanced things in the future maybe virology or genetics next we'll see uh but yeah thanks guys for watching and i'll see you later bye